the wind howling and the water rushing past you and the halyard slapping and the boat creaking as it heals. And... Favorite thing I've ever seen on the side of a building ever. That's so cool. It's always fun when you're at anchor and you're still healed over five degrees. We are Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly everything we owned, moved aboard a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. This is the story of us making our way. moving but the more we looked at the weather and the way that um, things were going to be kind of shifting around the next few days we just decided that it would be a good idea to um, go somewhere with a little bit more of 360 degree protection um, and the wind's coming in right now so we're having ourselves a nice little surprise sail today. This is so cool. So we are in like San Carlos proper, 
Um, this is the San Carlos Bay. It had a beautiful sail over. And this is really, really beautiful behind us. These houses on the cliffside and the rock formations here are awesome. And there's a tiny little beach over here for some of my, some of my friends to go swimming. It's really nice. So we're settling in, really tackle some desk work for the rest of today. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to check out San Carlos because it looks awesome. Looks amazing. Well, the wind is definitely showing up. Uh, we've been having gusts to like 28, and um, which is fine, like we're holding well, and looks like all the boats around us are holding well, but there's a power boat off our bow. I've just never seen a boat, like all boats kind of sail back and forth on anchor. I've never seen a boat sail back and forth this hard. It's kind of comical to watch. I'll see if I can get it on camera. Of course, now they're not really sailing as much. I'll try to get a good shot of it. read over 30 knots but we were just talking that I think there's more wind down on the uh, water level lit up at the masthead by the way the because we're sitting right next to this mountain and I think it's kind of swooping down because this feels closer to 35 or 40 it doesn't feel like 25 this is like it's a windy it's a windy day The, we healed real hard. Is it still only saying the mid 20s? This says 18 right here. <laughs> Look at, I mean, obviously, there's like the little cape effect on the point there, but. It's okay, guys. Don't worry. We're not gonna go anywhere. I think the wildest part of wind like this is the sound, the noise. And I don't really know if it translates in, in the cameras, but. The noise is so intense, like the wind howling and the water rushing past you and the halyard slapping and the boat creaking as it heals and whoa. a little bit it's much more manageable right now it's cooled down it's a beautiful sunset everybody's coming home from their afternoon
afternoon, hot in the sun. It's the end of the holiday week, the holiday weekend. So I think everybody's going back to work tomorrow. calm down last night so we had a nice night's sleep and it's still quiet this morning so I thought I'd go out for a paddleboard because we're expecting it to pick back up maybe in the afternoon but uh, still haven't been to shore here at all but just really enjoying it it's just such a pretty area cool landscape and the buildings like it's, it's very very cool and uh, just found out there's an artificial reef like just on the other side of this sort of spit behind us so not today, but maybe tomorrow or the next day, I might try to go dive on that. So that'd be cool. But I'm gonna go get a lay of the land. Well, very cool. They built these houses kind of right on the cliff sides and stairs right down to the water. Reminds me how they do it in the Mediterranean. Actually really beautiful. We're anchored right over here. Water's not the clearest. I'm really excited for uh, the waters to warm up and get clear again. Fortunately, we might be kind of packing up the boat and uh, heading back right as things get really good, but when we come back in September, October, I think they'll be clear again, so. I didn't know that that happened here, but it seems like kind of January through, like sometime in May, the waters cool down and they just kind of get green and murky for the most part. Not complaining, it's still beautiful. And it's really gotten a lot warmer, like, I kept remarking to Taylor last night, like last night I was sitting in the cockpit well after sundown and it was, um, it was just like warm, like really warm. Some people would call it uncomfortably warm. I liked it, but I just love that. It's uh, really felt like summer, so. today as expected and it's actually uh, it's actually even a little stronger today at least the wind instruments been saying like solid 27 28 with gusting in the low 30s but at least we know our anchors well dug in at this point so we're trapped on the boat again but it's not too bad It's always fun when you're at anchor and you're still healed over five degrees. Well, this is what our afternoon is going to look like. boat for the past two days riding out some big old wind and today there's a little breeze but it's nothing wild so we are actually making our first excursion uh, to shore here to land to the sound town of San Carlos 
and I'm very excited because it looks absolutely charming from the water. So we're gonna go explore, grab some lunch, and probably make it back in time just in case there is a little afternoon push in the wind, which tends to happen here and it can get a little spicy. So we're still gonna come back and kind of prepare for wind, but for now, <laughs> we're gonna go walk around and get some food and dispose of some trash and explore San Carlos. is really impressive and that might be my favorite thing I've ever seen on the side of a building ever. <laughs> That's so cool. We had an amazing lunch and we kind of have to hurry back to the dinghy because we forgot the lock. To lock it up at the dinghy dock and I think it'll be fine but you just don't want to learn that one the hard way so we're gonna kind of rush back but we're gonna be here for a while and I'm super excited because that's like a really neat town. The fog on this mountain right now is killing me. But uh, it is a rolly anchorage actually today. There's a, just a small opening to the south and there's just been a swell kind of rolling in all day and we have the flopper stopper out and it's not too bad, but look at some of these boats. They're just rolling back and forth. So that's the little, that's the little opening and the swell has just been rolling right up it. Maybe you can see some of these masts. I got a message from one of my former co-workers today back up in Washington and uh, he was actually watching one of our videos but he said it's like 50 degrees and raining there so sometimes it's cool to receive those messages and just remind me that this isn't normal. <laughs> Next up on Sailing Via, we squeezed into a slip in the marina. And I'm gonna show you how toit this is. We make some upgrades. We bought a new outboard. Buy a spinnaker. And our month of bizarre and challenging events officially begins. I sure know we're getting pulled over. We have a slip. What is happening? We have a slip in the same colors. Carl. Okay. I lost a pair of sunglasses. I was just sitting here and kind of accidentally went to, I don't know, messing my hair and then I knocked them off my head and they just went blowing down the side deck and right into the water and first casualty. 